Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to use the burn tool and dash tool. So today is gonna be burn and dash tutorial. So this is like the end result of the dash and burning and without the dash and burning is gonna be like this. So you can see the difference. So let's begin. Also I'm gonna show you how to make this action for dash and burn because I'm always using dash and burn on my other tutorials and I'm gonna show you how to make an action for that so I'm gonna delete this dash and burn tool um, layer and I'm gonna make the action so like you can see I already have the dash and burn action so I'm gonna delete this action to show you how to do it okay so first of all you, you need to open the action menu if you don't have the action menu right here just go to the window and actions just click on actions and the window will pop out so once you have your action menu open you're gonna click on this icon create new action so click on this one and name your action so I'm gonna name it touch and burn and click on the record button so now it's recording so every move you do it will be recorded so click on on the new layer to make a new layer now go to the edit fill 50% gray and click OK. Go to the blend mode and choose soft light and name your layer Dutch and burn and click enter. Now we have our Dutch and burn layer action set. So click on the stop button and, go and you have your action ready. So let's delete this layer and now you can open your action or your burn and dash um, layer with the action just click on the action and click on the touch and burn and click play and like you see you have your dash and burn action layer so that's how you create an action so now let's go back to this technique the dash and burn so we already have our layer dash and burn layer now let's go to the dodge tool the range is gonna be on mid tones and the exposure about 20 or 25 so that's the normal percent I use 20-25 so the lower the exposure the lower the, the effect so the higher the exposure is gonna be higher effect so I'll keep mine on 20 on 25 always so I'm gonna put it to, uh, right now on 20 and we're using the dash tool so with the dash tool you need to go over the highlighted areas if you see this image has like a lot of highlighted areas like on the abs, boobs, shoulders, hands, face so we're gonna go over those areas to make this image look better so with uh, the exposure 20 percent and with the dash tool size all depends on the area you're going over so on here i'm gonna go over the face on these light areas to make those areas pop out a little bit more and at the end is gonna be a good result it takes time because you have to go over the details and not that but if you wanna get good results you'll like this
So I'm gonna go to the shoulder. If you do too much and you don't like it, just press Ctrl C to go back. So but right now I think you got an idea on how the touch and porn tool works. So, so now we're done with the dash tool and let's go to the burn tool. With the burn tool I use the same range, mid-tones and the exposure is gonna be the same, 20-25. The higher the percent is gonna be too much burn and the lower is gonna be not too much. So you can play with the percent and see which one you like the most. But I always use 20-25. So I'm I'm using the burn tool and the mid tones and I'm going over the light dark areas like shadow light areas but I'm not gonna do too much because I don't want the image to look bad with too dark stuff.
well that's gonna be the end result what do you guys think leave a comment and tell me what do you think and if you got any questions put a comment well this is the end result and that's with the touch and burn tool and without it and without it it will be look like this so you can see a difference so like always this was a quick tutorial just to show you some tips and letting you know what are the touch and burn tool is for so you can do a good job or better job if you take your time with your images so just practice with your images and I um, hope you like this video I hope you learned something new and see you next time bye bye